Well, having completed the beam, I now need a, a method of finding out where it's pointing, a direction indicator. The rotating mechanism I'm using is a pan and tilt head. As a temporary measure, I've put a, an arrow on the mast so I can see in which direction it's pointing. However, I need something to indicate the direction inside the shack, preferably electronic. There's a number of different ways you can get a beam direction indication back in the shack. Some use a multi-turn pot, magnets over reed relays, slotted discs and a motor inside the control unit which turns at the same speed as the rotator motor. I'm going to try our magnetic compass module. Here I have a QMC 5883L driven by an Arduino Nano. I'm going to attempt to put the module on the rotating parts of the mast, either the boom of the antenna or somewhere on the mast itself and feed the signal from the magnetic compass module back into the shack where I can just read it on the display. Here's a closer look of the module mounted in a small plastic box. This box will go outside and be fed back into the shack through that uh, five pin microphone connector via a shielded cable. The chip comes mounted on a small circuit board or module. You'll see here the X and Y coordinates marked on the circuit board. X indicating the north direction. Z is the uh, elevation but I'm not using that. The chip communicates back to the Arduino using the I to C bus system. So here is the Arduino Nano mounted on a shield and you'll see the ribbon cable carrying the I2C signals. Normally I2C distances are around about a meter or two however I, I need to go outside so I'm, I'm going to need a bus extender or buffer chip which I will add later on. I connected a battery up to the Arduino and I'm going to give you a closer look at the display as I, rot as I rotate the compass module. Here's a look at the display. I'm just uh, running a basic program at the moment and I just want to see how good it is. I'll put it on the mast and see what happens. You'll see the numbers jumping around quite a bit. There are programs that can smooth those out but right now that's all I really need. As you can see as I rotate the compass uh, I'm getting the various readings in the different directions. Obviously if there are magnets in the room or wherever you're doing this test it's going to affect the readings but outside uh, I have already done a test on the arrow and it seems to be pretty good actually. I just put the compass on the tip of the arrow and uh, it seems to be able to pick up the Earth's magnetic field quite accurately. So uh, to calibrate it you just rotate the compass a few times and that sets up north. There seems to be some sort of a calibration device inside the chip itself that finds magnetic north. So the next step now will be to put all this stuff inside a box and try it out for a while. If it works successfully of course having software uh, display you can add other things such as memories and the ability to go to memory locations but for now I just want to keep it simple and see if it's reliable or not.